Hello everyone. In this problem, we have to find out the current across two ohm resistance by using the Thevenin principle. Okay. So we know that according to Thevenin principle, we just replace this circuit by an equivalent circuit. That circuit have a single voltage source VTH in series with a equivalent resistance RTS. And at the end of the circuit, we connect our low resistance RL. The RL is the resistance is which resistance in which we have to find out the current. And here, this is the 2 ohm resistance. Okay. So we have to find out first VTH, then find out RTH, then apply the simple KVL principle, find out the current IL that is given by IL equals to VTH upon RTH plus RL. Okay. So first we remove this 2 ohm resistance. And uh, we have to we have to redraw the circuit. So this is our two volt battery. This is our two volt battery. <coughs> this is two ohm resistance, and this is one ohm resistance. This is three ohm resistance. Two ohm, one ohm, three ohm, and this is twelve ohm. 12 ohm and we remove this resistance from here mark is open terminal and assume the voltage is VTH and this is the 4 volt battery okay so we just apply the Thevenin principle so just we calculate first VTH Okay, so we apply the KVL in these circuit. Okay, in this circuit. So take this is the plus, this is the minus. Yet this is two volt, this is four volt. So first, first we draw the sign convocation. So according to this circuit, we take the sign. This is plus because current is entering in this resistor plus. This is minus. Again, this is plus, and this is minus. Okay. And if we convocate the sign in this circuit, so you can take in any direction, but for the safety, we take direction according to our battery direction. Okay. So this is plus, this is minus, this is plus, this is minus, this is plus, and this is minus. We take direction in this manner. This is current I2 and this is current I1. Now, Apply the KVL, apply the KVL loop or mesh 1, mesh 1, if you apply the KVL in this, so this is 2 volt minus 2 I1 and again minus, minus 12 ohm. And the current will be resultant current. This is due to current I1 and in this direction current I2. So this is current I1 plus I2 equals to 0. Okay. So just solve this equation 2 minus minus 2 I1 minus 12 I1 minus 14 I1 and minus 12 I2 equals to 0. So resultant equation is 14 I1 plus 12 I2 equals to 2. We took this 2 in this side, so it is minus. So eliminate all minus sign. So this is equation number first. Okay. Now again apply the KVL. Apply KVL in mesh second mesh second so this is 4 volt battery minus 3 i2 minus 1 i2 and minus 12 i2 plus i1 equals to 0 okay so now solve this equation for the value of current i1 and i2 this is 4 minus 3 i2 minus i2 minus 4 i2 and minus 12 i2 minus 16 i2 
and this minus 12 i1 equals to 0. So we take this 4 in RHS side. So it is again minus. So eliminate the minus sign. The equation is 12 i1 plus 16 i2 equals to 4. Equation number second. Okay. So by solving this these two equation, equation 14 i1 plus 12 i2 equals to 2 and this is 12 i1 plus 16 i2 equals to 4. If we solve this equation for the value of i1 and i2 then the value of this current will be then the value of current i2 will be 0 0.4 ampere. Okay, this is the current i2. Now again uh, we solve this circuit for the value of Vth. So we just simply apply the KVL only in this loop. Only in this loop. Okay. So our equation will be again this is 4. Again this is 4 volt battery. So this is 4 minus 3 I2. We take here plus minus minus Vth equals to 0. So the value of Vth is given by Vth equals to 4 minus 3 I2. So Vth equals to 4 minus 3. The value of It is 0 0.4 ampere. So Vth equals to 4 minus this is 1.2 so this vth equals to 2.8 volt okay again we have to solve this circuit for the <coughs> value of rts so we replace all the voltage source by their internal impedance so this 4 volt battery is replaced source circuit and this 2 is also replaced source circuit. So the resistance is 2 ohm, 2 ohm, 12 ohm, 1 ohm and 3 ohm. Okay. So, so this is 2 ohm, this is 12 ohm, <coughs> this is 1 ohm, this is the resistance RTH. And this is the short circuit. Okay. Here we find the resistance RTH. Okay. So this is 3, this is 1, this is 2, and this is 12. So RTH will be these two are connected in parallel. So it is simply 2 parallel 12. And this one is connected in series with <coughs> equivalent of these two. So plus one and all of equivalent of these are con these are connected in parallel with 3 ohm. Okay. So by solving this, the RTS will be the RTS will be 1.43 ohm. Now draw the equivalent circuit. The VTH is 2.8 volt, RTH is 1.43. Now redraw the circuit. The VTH is 2.8 volt, RTH is 1.43, and this is lower resistance 2 ohm. This is current IL. Okay. So IL will be 24 upon 1.43 plus 2. So IL will be IL will be 24 upon 
four three, and this is equal to six point nine nine or equals to seven ampere. Okay, so in this circuit, what we have done first, we calculate the VTH across this load circuit, this load resistance, and this VTH will be two point eight volt. Then find the RTS. This is one point four three. And then simply apply the Thevenin principle. The load can be IL. That is the six point nine nine or seven ampere. Thank you.